All right, as we enter the kitchen, we're gonna see if I can touch the test the smoke alarm. Now, sometimes when Sometimes when the smoke alarm, I test it in a condo. Well, someone will come knocking at the door to say, is everything okay? Sometimes smoke alarms go off and people don't care at all. But uh, nevertheless, I wanted to check it, have it on video that uh, it is in fact in working condition on uh, July 28th, 2024. Okay, countertops. This is more um, for mica counters. And I do see, it looks like a, an area right here that's affected, it might be melted or, or whatever. I do see a little bit of area right here where uh, caulk has sunken through. So we wanna make sure that you don't allow water or moisture to get close to that area. Okay, and it looks good otherwise. The upper, um, counter looks good. What I'm looking for are any scratches, scuffs, scrapes, any type of mars like this is right here, any type of damage whatsoever on the counter. All right, very nice. Let's go to the next component, which is the floor. This is a ceramic tile floor. And it looks all really good in here. The next component are the appliances. Now this is an electrical oven. You see burners, four burners. And your job after cooking is to, to make sure you wipe this area down periodically. Otherwise, sometimes it gets so clogged up with grease and spatters and, and those kinds of things. And cooked on food and drips that get cooked on again and again and they get hard and then these drip pans they become really ruined and you'll have to replace those again once you get ready to move out so the good thing is just wipe it down afterwards but don't wipe it down in your exuberance so much that you use an abrasive to to wipe off or scratch off these these um, uh, decals you don't want to get rid of those decals because those are important instructions on temperature etc now it's on video that they are there they're present they look good they look almost brand new um, but if we come in for an inspection and those are rubbed off or at the end of your lease term if those are rubbed off then that will be a security deposit issue that we will take up with you okay underneath inside the oven box it looks very nice and clean same with the glass on the outside and the storage on the inside looks good all right we've got a microwave oven looks good here now notice i'm not turning on anything because this is not necessarily the venue this is not a home inspector's view of everything we're going to expect you already know how to use these machines so i'm not going to show you how to use them or test them because in the lease if you happen to turn on the oven and a burner doesn't work well there's something that you can do in the lease and that's use your pma issued portal to re to report any type of repair calls necessary so that's how we do that and that means that i don't have to run all the appliances and and uh, uh you know spend time watching the oven coil turn red in other words all right underneath the microwave there is a filter right down the middle and you see that's pretty that's pretty dirty in there so what i would do is just take that filter don't throw it away just put it into the dishwasher run it through a cycle or two you're going to do just fine that's going to come out completely clean free of any of the debris that was accumulated over it for uh 
uh, as time went along and put it right back up in there. You can use your fingernail to put it back in there and take it out and it's just that easy. All right, and then that way, that way you're able then to uh, keep that fresh and new and uh, it's going to be operating very efficiently. I see the dishwasher here is in good shape. Someone wiped it down but left some streaks back and forth, but what I'm looking for are any dents, scratches, scuffs, scrapes on the actual machine itself. So, let's see here. At the refrigerator, and what I'm looking for, again, any dents, scratches, scuffs, scrapes. I see a little dimple right here, not much. But again, I don't want tennis to be responsible for things that are already what I would consider damaged. Now, you see these very, very light, very shallow dimples. And, and then there's a mark here. Okay, so we wanna report that. And then we wanna make sure that everything, all the components in the freezer and then also in the refrigerator work pretty good. Now, these are the shelves you get, these two shelves. Now, we're not gonna be able to order shelves to fit this, the refrigerator just is so, it, it's not an old refrigerator, but once they make a refrigerator, then they run out of refrigerators, they don't really make a lot of parts to fit them. They just want you to buy a new refrigerator. Well, that's not gonna happen, so you can make your own shelves with these. You can go to the Rubbermaid or wherever to see if you can get those done yourself. The crispers look good here, and the retaining bars look good. Very nice, and it's very cold in there, so that's good, well operating. Okay, now I'm going to show you something here. This is going to be the first and only appliance that I actually try, okay? This is the disposal. So let's turn on the disposal and listen in. Okay, this disposal is absolutely free and clear of all debris. It is clear. And so you don't ever want to be proactive and put anything down the disposal whatsoever. Not any meat byproducts, uh, not bone, not uh, silverware, plasticware, nothing, um, vegetables, skins, any type of anything goes down here intentionally. That's all it is, is for you to be able to catch as a matter of fact, I would put a little bit of a strainer in there like this that allows things to drop in there, but it won't go all the way down inside there. So you can buy those strainers at like a Safeway or, or someplace. And so uh, if we get a plumbing call from this unit and says our disposal is plugged up, well, chances are you'll have to pay for that call because right now we're deeming this to be in perfect um, condition, basically, okay? So just so you know, uh, and it's fair warning, don't put anything down there that's intentional. Now let's just pretend you drop something down there accidentally and it stopped the disposal and we have to have a plumber come out and actually uh, unstop it. That still will be your cost as a tenant because it happened, it was a mistake or uh, an accident, but that's, okay, that's okay, it's the wrong word. That's, it just doesn't, we don't care, <laughs> basically. We don't care that it's a mistake or not. It's on your watch, so you'll have to take care of that financially, okay. All right, so enough said about that. And then finally, the cabinets and cupboards you see underneath. It's nice and clean. Drawers. You got some parking passes, some other things right here, some booklets, fob, mailbox key. Perhaps my staff will go over that with you. Okay. And up here. 
by opening up these cupboards and cabinets, it gives you an idea of the cleanliness factor. And it shows that the even the cabinets are in pretty good operating condition. Okay, great. Uh, one last thing, the air conditioning system here. This is what it is, and you see it's a condenser, and you see those are drips. Those drips, uh, that means that they're, it's like that dehumidifier. The humid air comes up through there, and then they, it gets condensed, and it gets uh, into a dripping phase. It goes, it drips down into this trough, and it's directed out outside the unit, okay? So if there's anything that happens with that, just make sure you let us know, and then we'll, we'll uh, talk to the owner and go through the proper channels to get this thing back in working condition. Okay, so right here, this is 57 South Reynolds Street in Alexandria. It's July 28th, 2024. My name is Randy Huntley, Property Management Advisor, 703-457-6533. And if you have any questions or any type of problems whatsoever, contact us at service at pma-dc.com. This is Randy Huntley, property manager, signing off.